Charles. Welcome back to the Gaming Griffin. This is Thinking Thursday. And if you recall, we are in the castle of Dr. Brain. And we just got through word games with Mercy Chipmunks. Mercy Chipmunks were necessary. Alright, so... Now we go... here? Huh, okay. Place your, your 10 gram pieces on the grid to form a square and spell the password. Click on one of the pieces around the puzzle border to pick up and move that piece. Click on the rotation symbol, then on a piece, to turn it 90 degrees clockwise. Click on the rotation symbol a second time to stop rotating pieces. You can temporarily remove a piece from the grid by clicking on the piece, then clicking anywhere outside the grid. If you need help at solving the puzzle, you can spend a hint coin to get some suggestions. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm guessing... Yeah, like that. Okay. Or... Well, it's supposed to spell a word. So that's gonna be... the tricky part of all of this. Oh, hey, hey. You're slow. Oh, I bet you, if that's an E-N-T-E-R, yeah, 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 enter. Yep, 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 yep. Too easy, suckers. Watch me fuck this up for a buggy idea. Uh, this one needs a rotation, though. There we are. Alright, so what kind of... No, that's not right. We'll put that one back. Ah, here, here's our winner. Okay. Yeah. Be gone. There we are. Ah, uh, that one's pretty easy. So this one goes down here, does it? Alright. Oh, these are the UIs. Congratulations, you formed the secret password. Enter with your ten ten gram? Ten gram. The door to the puzzle room opens. Alright, so what do you got for me? Oh! This room looks incomplete. Since we rarely forget to finish a painting before shipping a game, it must be up to you to put the pieces of this puzzle together. You can get puzzle pieces by clicking the hand on the chest, click a piece anywhere on the screen to place it. Pick up a piece by clicking on it, or several pieces by dragging the mouse across them. Okay, okay, first off, yeah, no, you are obnoxiously loud and I don't know why. Okay, that's that's a little bit more reasonable. Oh, that's a sword. Um, actually, dollars I don't know. Yeah, that one goes there. That'll be an edge piece. Uh, actually, that's not a top piece. It's got a curve on the top. At least I'm guessing. Uh, not there, but. Let's see. Huh. Put that one over there. I'm guessing it's part of a door, but I'm not sure. Ah, okay, there's that one. Ah, okay, so those two do go together. A uh, bowling pin. I'm guessing that goes... in the vicinity of the bowling ball? Uh, it's a top piece. Ah, top corner. Alright. You, up here. You, up there. Thank you! Alright. 
I'm actually guessing, yeah, that one fits quite nicely there. Ah, and that one goes there. Nice. Okay, not too, not too bad, not too bad. Well, that's the first piece I've gotten for over here, really. Don't know what that is, though. Um... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, nice, corner pieces. Corner pieces make life lots easier. Um... I'm... Yeah, that goes with that. Whoa, what? No, no, come back. Oh, screw it. I'll just put these two around here for now. Um, that's... Bicycle? I'm guessing it's part of a bicycle. That looks like a bicycle sort of thing. I thought it might actually... Oh! It looks like the same color, but it's not quite. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. That one's there. A guitar. Oh, so that one goes there. Nice. Um, not. I haven't, don't think I've seen the. Oh, okay. This is another part of the bicycle, so we'll put it over there for now. Helmet. Uh, I think like an old, like a, one of those Roman helmets. Um. Actually. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Oh, he's a teddy bear. A teddy bear that goes on the top. Ah, yep. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That one was easy. There's that part. Oh, I bet you. Yep. Oh, it's not a bicycle, it's a unicycle. Clever little monkey. I wonder, does this one... Yeah, that goes there. Which means that one goes there. I'm still not quite sure what to make of that. Whatever it is, it's rather large. Okay. Uh, not quite sure what to make of that one either. Ah. Well, that one's easy enough since it's a top piece. Ah, okay. So whatever that is, it's part of this bottom here. Okay, that that clicked me in a few pieces. Nice. I'm guessing this goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, not the one I wanted to grab. This one. Oh, it's a table. Okay, okay, making making more sense now. Um, let's see. Ah, I think this one goes here. And that's part of the boxing gloves. Saw the red there. Nice. And there's some red right there. Uh, okay, so is, did I have another one of the door pieces yet? No, but that one goes there. I, I could tell because that little edge matched up there, so. Handy. Alright, that deals with all the pieces I've got. It's a rabbit. Um, jaw? Oops, no, 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 you stay there. You stay there, everything's fine. That one's easy. Let's be honest, this whole thing isn't super hard. Uh, it goes up on the top there. Sword. And twata. Congratulations, you've managed to put the room back together. It is just the sort of room you and Dr. Brain like. Filled with all kinds of toys, you can now see a door in the back of the room. Open up! So what kind of madness will this lead me to? That's actually a kind of nice picture, though. Oh. Okay. This guy looks like a real dummy. 
But is that any reason to hang him? Apparently, to Dr. Brain it is. Dun, dun, dun. This leads down to a pool full of piranhas. What the? This game just got dark. Dr. Brain so hates to leave unsightly messes around the castle. The skull was left over after one of the doctor's unfortunate brain transplant experiments. Fortunately, Dr. Brain was able to recycle it for a worthy purpose. Okay, this place went creepy sauce dark. Huh. You wonder what lies beyond this door. Unfortunately, it's locked. You don't see a keyhole, but there is a coin slot. There is a TV monitor set into the door. Uh, features a numeric keypad. Dr. Brain looks friendly enough, but you wonder if he could be hiding something. I'm... Oh. Wow. You had to go the literal route. I, I was going all existential. Dos o more. Must be some kind of code. Alright. Huh. What's this now? This lock is sealed by a set of computer-chosen symbols. To open the lock, you must guess the selected symbols. After each guess, the computer will show you, in red, how many symbols you guessed correctly, but in the wrong position. In, and in blue, how many you guessed exactly right. The guess symbols by clicking on the symbols at the bottom left of the display. You can also use the up and down arrows and guesses. Oh, okay. You have up to 15 guesses to logically deduce the chosen combination eh, without setting off security alarm. This will cause the computer to reset the combination and you'll have to start over. If you need help, a hint coin will buy you the next symbol for the correct configuration. Okay, I think I get that. So there's one of these is correct and in the right position. So if I go to correct but in the wrong position. Okay, so this one is is definitely well, definitely one of the symbols. Ah, okay, if I'm thinking this right, and that's kind of a question mark. This orange one is the last one. And it was in the right position. So, alright, let's go... Two in the right position, alright. But not three. So the waves are... Wave is in there somewhere, huh? Well, no. Okay. So this had one correct and in the right position. This had two correct symbols, but none in the right position. This had two correct symbols in the right position. Alright. So what if we go... No, this isn't correct, but I'm already too late. Yeah. Alright. Okay, okay. I think I'm getting there. I'm pr I'm like, I'm 90% sure this is in the- this is in the right spot, so I think the last one is a gold. This one was the closest. And this one had two correct symbols. But there's three correct symbols all together. And I've never gotten it to say that I have the right combination of three. And I've done this, like, I've done, oh man, what's that called? Hashtag. <laughs> wow, I, I, I have lived on Twitter too long. Um, this only has two, so one of these is correct, it is incorrect. Are there any similarities? 
This one is one correct in the right position. This one is two correct. This one has two correct. And this one has one correct. So only one of these sim let, let me hang on. After each guess, the computer will show you in red how many symbols you guessed correctly but in the wrong position, and in blue, how many you guessed exactly right. Okay. So two out of these three are absolutely correct. But one of these is completely not the right symbol. Hmm. And this one only has one correct. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that heart and gold are in. Oh, this is just a logic thing. And for whatever reason, my brain is not coughing up a good answer for me. Huh. All right. And that's two in the right position. Are there more symbols? Oh. Oh, you cheeky little buggers. I wonder. They're not unique. You rat. That's where I was. I was. Oh, that was actually fairly clever. Ah, that did it. The safe door swings open. Inside, you find a bright red key and a scrap of paper with a cryptic note. You pack them up and put them in your book bag. That was that was actually reasonably clever. I was like, what the? Ah, maybe this test of your screen <laughs> resolution. Maybe this is a test of your screen resolution. On second thought, these letters look very familiar. You're sure you've seen them quite frequently in other places. The top few letters look especially common. ETA. Huh. Oh. Chapter 1, Substitution Ciphers. The two most common ways of keeping text secret are to encrypt the individual letters using a cipher or to replace the words using a code. In this section, we will discuss the most common form of encryption, the simple substitution cipher. In a substitution cipher, each letter of the message is replaced by another letter of or symbol. For example, the sentence, this is a message, would turn into the if all the I's were changed to X's, and all of the S's into Y's. More commonly, every letter of the message is replaced by a different letter. The easiest way to solve a substitution cipher is to have a table of the substitutions used. Failing that, count each of the letters in the message, look for common short words, and look for double letter patterns. In English, the three most common letters of the alphabet are E, T, and A, in that order. Ah, okay. Knowing the common letters is very helpful in solving ciphers. Count each of the letters, and the most frequent ones are likely to be... Yeah. Also look for common short words. A single letter word is almost always certain to be I or A. Common two letter words to look for are two, on, of, and, etc. Look especially for the among three-letter words. It's the most common English word. Finally, check out any double-letter pairs. Note all letters can occur as pairs. Not all. Not in there. Frequent letter pairs are T-T-O-O-L-L-F-F-N-N-E-E-S-S-R-R -E -E -S -S and M-M. Try to figure out from the context which of the pairs might work. Good luck with your code-solving career. Yeah, sure. So what's this nonsense? The keypad contains the cabinet lock. You need to enter the three numbers of the combination, cl clicking on enter after each number. If you get a number wrong, you will be at, have to start over at the beginning. Note, you may use the keyboard numbers. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a puzzle, okay. 
The dummy is about to be hung, probably for the crime of being stupid. Dr. Brain is hardcore. You can save the dummy by being smart enough to guess three words. Okay, so it's hangman. Guess the words by choosing one letter at a time, either by either click on the letters, hanging post, or type them. If your guess is correct, the letters will appear in the word above the dummy, but if you get too many wrong, the dummy will hang. If you get stuck, you can use a hint coin. Each time you guess the word, the dummy will give you a clue to the cabinet lock, but after you rescue the dummy, you can re review the clues by clicking the eye on the hanging post. Oh, okay. Two A's, one N, oh, no S's, no T's, oh dear, no good, any E's, uh, nope, uh, the first thing that no. And no ends either. Huh. Well, I N E is the most yeah. Oh, I should be seeing it by this point. Um Uh oh. It's no bueno. Is no bueno at all. Goodbye, dummy. Well, shouldn't you be dead right now? Um. Oh, I get hands too. Wow, they really are having pity on me, aren't they? I am just not seeing it. What is M A? No P. Ma. Mag. Magazine? Yeah, that must be it. There we go. <laughs> the dummy says, thank you, that feels much better. By the way, the first... Oh. Ack. I mean, I know I can see it again, but might as well write it down, just because, you know, things happen. And maybe Dr. Brain is hanging you because you're, you know, um... Oh, how, how does one say this? Squealing out the, uh, secrets to the area? Anyway. All right. Uh, A, E, oh, um, S, T, R, no X, huh? Uh, N, an L, yeah, I figured that. Uh, is there a P? No? Eh. Uh, what about a U? Oh, I thought that might be... Huh. 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 You might be dying this time, dummy. Because I'm not seeing it. Oh, editorial. And I. There we are. There we are. Two, two, one, zero. All right. A. E. Oh, wow, nice. Uh, N. A D. Oh, I was thinking that might be a D at the end. Um. Nope. 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 Uh, okay. Oh, what about? No, not okay. Um. Yeah, that one. But no R. Excellent. Yep. There we are. You live. 
One, five, two, three. Last combo, so. Be free, little dummy! Just before he leaves, the dummy adds, I'm free! Thank you, by the way. You'll need some things from Dr. Brain's safe before you go down to the basement. Ah, dummy free! Dummy free! And one, one, six, five, enter. You hear a click. Two, oh crap. Um, no. No. Damn it. All right. Two, two, one, zero. Click. One. Five, two, three. Ah! Gimme. Inside the cabinet you find the pay TV token and a strange looking device labeled Dr. Brain's handy dandy letter counter. You pick them up for later use. Okay. Don't do that. The piranhas would bite your hand clean off. Well, since the piranhas can't have my hand, I guess we're gonna call it there. So this has been Thinking Thursday at the castle of Dr. Brain, and, and things got dark, man. Dark. But with that, I'm signing off.